Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Now today we are going to continue our tutorial. The only difference will be is that I'm going to recreate these um, to be a lot easier to understand. I noticed that my videos were taking a bit too long and it's really hard for people to um, let's say go on YouTube when they have a problem, type it in and you know find the problem within my videos. So I've decided to do a lot of short videos which will be about five minutes long including this one which is kind of going to be the frame in which I'm going to continue the rest of this um, channel around. So yeah wish me luck. Um, so today we're really just going to fix a few problems that we had with the previous uh, version of our game um, after I stopped recording I decided hey why don't we give it a test and I noticed two things is that the cameras there were so many cameras on my screen and that it started flickering and um, I had a few problems with that and the reason why that um, happens is because there are more than one cameras in the scene and they're all overlapping each other so the first thing we want to do is get rid of that we want to make it that nobody sees anybody else's cameras except your own and the way we do this is by going into our game manager and under the spawn um, function we want to type in my player dot transform dot find right and then within that find we want to find the child object of my player which I've called mine um, uh, player camera and then dot get component and we want to get the camera component of the player camera game object and so we type in camera and then dot enabled equals false and that's only the method that I use you do not need to use this method guys it is com there's many ways to do this type of thing and especially if you're using something like JavaScript I personally do not like JavaScript because I believe it is messy um, and uh, the tutorials that have taught me in the past have pretty much been very straightforward at the moment I started using C sharp and everything is a lot more tidier so Every single tutorial is going to be in C Sharp. I don't think I should teach JavaScript, even though I understand it a bit. Um, I'm not really comfortable teaching it. So I think I'll stick to my good old languages. And um, and yeah, let's move on to this. The also, we want to go into our game objects, and we need to turn off the character controller. And we also need to turn off the camera just so when it spawns nobody can control our character or sense our character controller and also nobody can see our camera or sense our camera so it should work here on out the next thing that we want to do is realign the character I had a bit of issue with this and you'll notice that I have a new character in here and that was just for the effect I just kinda wanted to get an overall maybe what the game will look like when it is done so what I did was I went onto the asset store and I bought a character called SD underscore Archer and this is from DG underscore Bob and he makes incredibly good assets. I would recommend at least buying a few of his assets just to use in your game because they look pretty good. And this is just a basic Archer so I thought hey maybe this would um, uh, help me with uh, projectile type champions or heroes or whatever you like to call them gods and I thought maybe the projectiles would be probably one of the hardest things to do in the in this game uh, especially over a network so I thought I'd start with that and but anyway what I did was take her in and I'm going to do this with a cylinder um, sorry a um, capsule because just to show you the process of getting it onto the um, attached as a child object which is basically drag and drop it um, and create a child out of it and then make sure you set the position to zero on all axes and also the y-axis of rotation you want to set zero as well and that pretty much aligns it straight away so that it um, stays in place and then once you've done that you just drag it back into your resources folder after deleting the previous one so that you have your new character ready to spawn after it is spawned we're going to work with a bit of animation probably in the next tutorial because I am running out of time and the last thing I want to do is tell you guys for the map this um, these assets is called the MOBA and Tower Defense Pack and it is available on the asset store for about $70 so it's quite a bit but it is worth it guys if you take a look at all the stuff that they have um, in their pack I mean it is endless there is legitimately um, every scenario it also comes with um, snow versions of everything that they release and it's incredibly good especially for a MOBA I mean it is called the MOBA pack after all but anyway guys thanks for watching and I will leave links in the description below and see you in the next video thanks mm -hmm.